Welcome back. You're watching News Desk. Thank you for staying with us. Now, the family of Susan Joki was expected to give a press statement following the death of their 24-year-old kin. The body of the former multimedia university student was found at City Mortuary on Monday. Joki went missing on December the 30th after returning to Nairobi, where she worked for a public relations company. She hailed from Njoro, Nakuru County, and the family will be back to City Mortuary tomorrow for a post-mortem. But for more information on this particular sad turn of events, our reporter Grace Courier, who had earlier made her way to the City Mortuary, now joins us live from our city centre studios. Grace, um, what have you gathered so far? Well, indeed, Jesse, it is the mystery surrounding the death of 24-year-old Susan Njoki, a student at Maltai, who was a student at Maltai Media University. And what we gather as at now is I'm um, actually just from uh, the city mortuary where her her mother and a few of her uncles were already there because, of course, as you said, her body is at the city mortuary and uh, they hoped to get a post-mortem today, but unfortunately that was not uh, possible because they were made to understand that the government pathologist was not there since he had already completed, you know, the process in the morning. And so they will be back tomorrow morning for the post-mortem and, of course, later on transfer the body or rather transport the body to El Bagon, which is their home, as you said, Njoro in uh, Nakuru. But of course, the mystery, as I, st as I said, or rather as I started saying, um, uh, is that her body was found yesterday at City Mortuary, that is Monday, but we are, to we are made to understand that she died on the 31st, December 31st, and uh, contrary to what was out there, reports out there was that it was a heat, it was a case of heat and run, but I were made to understand, and I spoke to the uncle, and indeed he did clarify that it was not a heat and run, because actually the driver who is said to have hit her was actually did wait for the police to get to the scene of crime and uh, later proceeded to Juja police station and of course he recorded a statement and uh, he was later on released on uh, cash bill and therefore it was not a case of heat and run. Now we're made to understand that, that fateful day, the 31st of December, she had traveled from Rongai to Ruiru. Now she was supposed to relocate to Ruiru and uh, she was going to meet a friend of hers, or rather she was going to spend a night at her friend's place so that the following day she would plan on how she would relocate to her house and unfortunately while uh, crossing those who are familiar with Fikaro Jesse will know that at around uh, where we have the Kenyatta University rural campus on the other side opposite we have a petrol station and therefore when she was just crossing the road that's when unfortunately she got hit and of course succumbed to the injuries and her body was taken to the city mortuary but now questions arising are why it took so long to find her why did it have to take two weeks um uh, because you know of course when the police found her body she had her identity card with her. There was this friend of hers who was waiting for her, and therefore it is expected that the friend would have obviously made a follow-up after Susan failed to turn up to her place. And therefore those are some of the questions right now. But just to clear the doubts of many is that I have actually um, uh, spoken to the family, I've confirmed from the uncle herself, uh, himself, and uh, he says that it was not a case of hit and run, it was just an unfortunate accident that happened, uh, Jesse. All right, many thanks, Grace Courier. Quite an unfortunate turn of events there. We'll definitely um, keep you updated about how that particular postmortem that is set to take place tomorrow and the results and the findings.